Flow Wisdom presents The Practicing Mind by Thomas M. Stirner. Key Lessons Book Summary The Practicing Mind by Thomas M. Stirner. The book in three sentences. All of life is practice in one form or another. Actively practicing something is very different from passively learning. You will never reach a level of performance that feels complete, so learn to love the art of practicing your skill. The Practicing Mind Summary This is my book summary of The Practicing Mind by Thomas M. Stirner. My notes are informal and often contain quotes from the book as well as my own thoughts. This summary also includes key lessons and important passages from the book. The skill is practicing the goal, not having the goal. All of life is practice in one form or another. Good practice is not stressful, it is free-flowing. You get in flow. Actively practicing something is very different from passively learning. Education. When school funding is determined by how many high test scores we put out, what students actually learn is merely a footnote. Japanese perfect plate story. Why would I need someone to make sure I do my job correctly? Your goals are like a rudder on a boat. They provide direction. Goals as rudder versus a dock. Judging your work is wasted energy that can't go into the work. If your mind races off, you're like a chariot without the reins. Take the reins and be in control of your mind. Your goals are a compass, not the buried treasure. The goal is not the destination or where do you end up, but rather the compass that guides the journey. The greatest part of entrepreneurship is breaking down your limiting beliefs. It has nothing to do with money. Zen concept of beginner's mind. It's harder to concentrate as you advance in skill level. A habit is the natural way we do something. There is no point of performance you can achieve where you will feel done. Make time to just sit. You need relaxing time. This was released from For the Sake of Education by Flow Wisdom. If the content was helpful, make sure to subscribe.